How to build a darkroom. Even with the advent of modern technology, using an old school camera gives your photographs a unique look. In addition, printing your own photographs can be a rewarding experience and a fun hobby. The most important requirement for this hobby is your darkroom and setting up this workspace is crucial. This doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. You just need to make sure you define the right space and set up the necessary equipment. Setting up your space. Find a room in your home that can be made totally dark. A room with no windows is usually best, otherwise try to find a room with few small windows. A bathroom or basement room are usually best for this purpose. This room doesn't have to be particularly big, a 25 square foot space is sufficient. Make sure this room has an outlet for your equipment. Running water can also be useful but isn't required. Ensure the room is well ventilated. If you situate your darkroom in a bathroom, you usually have a bathroom fan which can help keep the room ventilated. However, this is not ideal in the long run, chemicals are heavier than air, and most bathroom fans will struggle to completely clear the air. You'll eventually want to invest in more powerful fans to preserve your health. Have a table or countertop in your darkroom. If space permits, this surface will make setting up your equipment and developing photos much easier. A desk with drawers will allow you to store some of your supplies, especially important if your darkroom has other purposes. Make sure your photo paper is stored in a drawer that doesn't let light in. Get your space completely dark. If your future darkroom has windows, you'll need more than curtains or blinds to make it completely dark. Take some black fabric, cut slightly larger than the windows, and tape it around the edges of the windows. Alternatively, you can use cardboard or thin plywood to block of windows, with fabric and tape around the edges to completely seal out light. If light leaks in around the door, affix a strip of fabric along its edge in the same manner. You'll have an easier time spotting encroaching light by turning off the room's lights. As your eyes adjust to the dark, you'll have an easier time spotting places where the light leaks in. 3. Split your darkroom in two halves, a wet side and a dry side. You'll want to establish this separation before you start setting up your equipment. This will protect your photos from costly mistakes, as well as make sure you don't damage your equipment. The dry side will include your electronic equipment and should be close to the outlet. Having running water near the wet side of your darkroom will make the development process much simpler. Make sure to check the water quality in your darkroom. Errant particles can negatively impact the development process. Run the water over a tray for 15 minutes. If there are visible particles at the bottom of the tray, you'll need a water filter. 4. 